presented by Comcast. Thank you very much. Steve Mears here with Brent Johnson and Ruslan Fedotenko, and also Dan Potash, who is standing by with our Penguins Insider feature. Dan, what do you got? All right, Steve, thank you very much. Well, no secret here. The Penguins can certainly strike fear into an opponent. Whenever on the ice, it's whatever they need to do to get a win. We know that. But when it, they're off the ice, it's a slightly different story. And when the Penguins make a visit to Children's Hospital here in Pittsburgh, it's a different story because it's whatever it takes to get a smile on a child's face. Hi. Hey, Rhonda. Hey, Rhonda. How are you? How are you? Christmas may still be a few weeks away, but don't tell that to the kids at Children's Hospital. Hi. Hey, Logan. Hello. How's it going? Hi, Logan. Hi. Right, a little Merry Christmas. Whoa, check yeah, that out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, early Christmas. Thank you. Nice. For them, it was a chance to meet their favorite penguins up close and personal. There you go. What's up, buddy? Cool. Give him five, Benny. Give him five. All right. For the players, it was a reminder of life beyond the bright lights of the hockey rink. It's always something that puts things in perspective. We always uh, talk about adversity and things like that when we're talking about hockey and um, when you're seeing real life situations of kids who are, who are sick and um, are really facing a, a true adversity that you know, we may kind of use the word loosely in hockey, but you know, these are a lot of kids who deal with uh, some tough things and you see the, the bravery and, and how courageous they are to, to deal with it. And, uh, see how good their attitudes are. I think it's something that puts things in, in perspective for us as players. As the players arrived, they were greeted with a new addition to the playroom walls. And a few refreshments. Oh, tea. thank you. Tea. Thank you. Oh. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. From there, they donned their caps and delivered toys and smiles to the waiting kids. Do you like Lego? Yes. Oh, wow. Big one. Man. What do you say? Thank you. Another toy for you. Thank It's priceless to be here. It's, you put a smile on the face of the kids right before Christmas, and uh, and uh, it's an amazing feeling for all the guys here. Hey, yeah. bud. You beat him? No? <laughs> he didn't take it easy on you? He got as many strikes as me. He's a bully. <laughs> He's a bully to us, too. You have fun? Yeah. You meet some kids that are really special out here and they're really nice and they're, you know, they're, they love hockey and like I said, putting a smile on these, these kids' face and just have the time to sit down with them, getting to know them, play with them is, uh, is really cool for us, especially a guy like me that has no kids, you know, you, you, know, you want to learn to meet them, it's like a little sister, a little brother and uh, it's, uh, it's really cool. A very special group of children at Children's Hospital here in Pittsburgh, and it's something that the Penguins have been doing for a long time. And, and really, when, when you think about it, I, I know things can be tough on those children, but it's, it seems like it's so easy to bring a smile to their face. Awesome work by the Penguins, as usual, in the community. Guys, what does it mean to you to be so involved in the community here in Pittsburgh? Well, definitely it's important, uh, I think, where, wherever you are, um, you know, to be involved in uh, the community that surrounds you. Um, obviously, uh, you know, helping the Children's Hospital is, you know, in my mind, there's nothing better in the world. Ruslan, you had the, the kids recently at practice making a lot of noise. What was that like? Oh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, it, it was nice to see all those screaming kids there. And, uh, uh, you know, it's, it, it's fun. I'm sure it's fun for them to skip the one day of school. But uh, I thought they cheer us on, and uh, I thought it was great. Let's talk about the Stanley Cup with you. You have won two cups now in your career. Can you compare them in any way? I mean, one was before the lockout, one was after, obviously, with the Penguins, but what was different? Oh, I think a lot of things different. I mean, the cup the same, but um, you know what? Maybe the game seven is the same, and two to one score the same. But other than that, <laughs> I, pretty I much feel everything. Like, yeah, one, one guy scored both goals, but yeah. uh, one of them was you. Yeah, but not this is Max. So. But I feel like, you know, the first one obviously is, um, you know, you, it's unknown territory. Like, you don't know what to expect. And um, so it was, it was special. But I feel like the second time it was more special. 
uh, because it's kind of repeating. You know how hard it is to get there, how hard it is to win. And again, um, we have, like I said, I can't say enough how great uh, locker room we have, what kind of great uh, uh, teammates we have, and uh, you know, great organization. So it's a, it was a, a lot of fun, and uh, hopefully we'll do it this year. Absolutely. How about that? Yeah. I'll give you one difference. How about the coaching styles? You had John Tortorella in Tampa Bay, and now you got Dan Biles. But I'm not saying one's better than the other, but they are drastically different in their styles. What made them so different? Oh, one is Mr. Negative and one is Mr. <laughs> positive. There you go. <laughs> Let's go that way. But uh, That's you pretty know much what? what I was looking for. <laughs> yeah. You know what? It's uh, you know he he lead a uh, you know. At that point for that team, that's what we need. And, uh, you know, it was, uh, um, you know, I think if somebody else maybe, maybe will not going to win or who knows what's going to happen. But we won there and, uh, you know, our coach here, it's great positive guy and he's uh, seems like he's a part of a team, you know, part of a players. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he act like that sometimes. So I think it's, uh, it's, it's fun. It's a lot of fun to, like I said, come to the rink and uh, uh, practice or uh, play game. How about uh, being with the Capitals organization, being on the other side of this great rivalry, Penguins and Caps? Tell us about being on the other side, first of all, for the last few years prior to coming here. Well, uh, I can tell you I never personally liked playing against Pittsburgh. Uh, and uh, Makes sense. I think uh, the first couple of years um, in Washington, we, uh, my first couple of years in Washington, Got Ovechkin and Semin involved and everything, and everything started uh, mixing and it became huge there. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, it was still uh, a fun place to play, a really fun place to play. How about for you in practice? Last year you're practicing against Ovechkin and Semin. Now you're practicing against Crosby, Malkin and company. I mean, it's got to help and you. Feds. And Fedotenko who's proven that he's a sniper as well. I mean, what's it like for you on a daily basis getting to face those guys? It must make your game better. Well, you know what? I've, I've learned that I need to bulk up my shoulder pads as much as I can before <laughs> practice. Um, you know, the more padding, the better. But, uh, no, honestly, it's, it's great. It's done nothing but improve uh, my, my game, you know, having to face these guys on, on a daily basis, you know, because they do so many things that are outside the realm of what you know, the normal NHL player does, you know, the, the thinking, you know, the behind the back passes, whatever, it's, uh, it's amazing. It's uh, just fun, fun to see that, you know, it's not fun when it's like a three on all yeah. and they're doing that, but it's, it's fun, you know, when we play regular game style. All right, coming up next, best segment of the show is questions from the audience straight ahead on Inside Penguins Hockey, as always, presented by Comcast. <laughs> 